Hello, all my After School Yu-Gi-Oh! students. Today is a special episode of After School Yu-Gi-Oh! Usually, I like to create deck dissections for new archetypes in the meta. I choose recently released decks that you are likely to encounter playing online or at your local card shop. That's why you haven't seen me do any older decks or perform pals. We are halfway into the January 2015 format, and it would appear that the meta has come to a halt now that Necros have arrived. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop there. So this week will be a show-and-tell week. I want to tell you guys about this new deck I built. It probably won't be very competitive, but I have a feeling it will be a popular net deck choice because it's a lot of fun. Have you guys guessed what deck I'm talking about yet? I'm building Yosenjus. Yosenju is Japanese for demonic sage beasts. Look at them. They're like wind fox ninjas. Look at the big one. It's like a air wolf ghost. It is a normal summoning archetype comprising of wind attribute monsters. The point of the deck is to search and bounce. They also return to your hand at the end phase like spirit monsters. It's a very fast and consistent anti-meta deck. Plus, it's really fun to say. Yo, Senjus. Let's take a look at the monsters. The level 4s are Beast Warrior tanky targets. They have high attack and low defense. These guys bounce back when they are normal summoned. The 6s are Beasts and they have to be Tribute summoned. They bounce back if they are Special summoned. Yosenjus also have Pendulum Scales. If normaled, they switch to defense position and they have pretty big booties. The boss monster is that Air Wolf Ghost thing. Mayonnaise Dieback is a level 10 pendulum monster. Why is he the boss? He's a 3k beater, he's recurring, and you can bring him up by tribute summoning or penduluming. And best of all, on summon he bounces 2 cards. He's more of a win more than a win condition, but he makes the deck worth playing. The impressive monster lineup is matched with an equally impressive spell trap lineup. Yosenju Training Grounds is a continuous spell that gains counters every time you summon a Yosenju monster, which is a lot quicker than you think. One counter lets you buff up your monsters. Three counters lets you search for any Yosenju card from the deck or grave. The trap, secret move, is an infernity barrier. As long as you control a Yosenju card and no other kind of monsters, you can negate the activation of any spell, trap, or monster effect and destroy it. Don't let your opponent play. That's the best way to win. So, this is the core of the deck, the normal summon engine. Remember, Yu-Gi-Oh! is all about double effects nowadays, so all the monsters have two effects. The first, whenever you normal, you can normal again. So you can go 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, you get the idea. Comma 1 lets you bounce an opponent's face-up card while you control another Yosenju monster. Comma 2 lets you attack directly for half damage. And comma 3 lets you search for a Yosenju card whenever another Yosenju monster inflicts damage. Pair this with the Osenju Training Grounds and you're looking at a free plus 2 every turn. But the normal engine can only take you so far. Sometimes you need something a little faster and stronger. The Pendulum Engine lets you bring out Dieback and the 6s at a furious rate. The scales also remain on the field so that you can activate Secret Move on your opponent's turn. Sinchu L is a scale 3 which will allow you to Pendulum the level 4s, which you don't really want to do because they won't bounce back. People will run 1 or none. Since you are is interesting because he allows you to pendulum sixes or dieback. So people who run dieback will be playing at least one. And dieback is too good not to run at three. He is useful even without the pendulum engine. Here are the other guys who add an aggressive edge to the deck. You probably won't see too many of them as they are just win more cards. For the support, this deck leaves an empty field at the end of each turn. So you'll need to guard yourself from the OTK with Swift Scarecrow or Battle Fader if you don't run the Vanity's Emptiness. Tanky and Duality will add consistency to your deck. Everything else is pretty much going to be stun traps, battle traps, and one ofs. So there are two phases in the strategy of this anti-meta deck. Phase one is to set up the OTK. Normal all your commas, bounce your opponent's monsters, and search for your scales. Everything returns to your hand for next turn. Phase two is very similar. Set up your scales, pendulum your die back, bounce their field, and win the game. And this goes without saying, everything else is defense. Don't let your opponent play. Here's an ideal opening hand for you to send you. Let me show you how to turn this into a fearsome board. First, you're going to activate Tenki and search for comma 3. Now that you have all three commas, you're ready to go off. Activate Yosenju Training Grounds, 
Normal one, two, three, and you'll have three counters on training grounds. Activate the effective training grounds, discard three counters to search for a dieback. Activate the dieback, bounce your opponent's monster, and then attack. Now you'll get a search and you can get the additional dieback so that you can attack for a game next turn. Set the secret move and all your monsters bounce back to your hand. So how do you stop this anti-meta storm? Well, there are actually a lot of different options. You can stop them from swarming, stop their back row, or keep them from searching. But the most basic and devastating way to stop them is by clearing their board of monsters. This deck cannot top deck at all. They are dependent on their monsters. It doesn't really matter what you side in, just make sure you side a lot of it, because they can always negate your traps with secret move. To sum up Yosenjus, these guys are high speed wins. We're talking 20s across the board. They've got lows in the monster count and highs in the spells and traps. Again, this deck is a really fast and consistent anti-meta deck, so there's going to be a good chance of some salty showers. Be prepared and remember to bring an umbrella full of back row hate. Thanks for watching the show and tell edition of After School Yu-Gi-Oh! If you have any questions about the deck, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.